Hi, welcome back to Baking with Josh and Ange. Guess what we're doing today? Something super delicious. Over the holidays, I posted a photo of some monkey bread that Josh made, and a bunch of you were like, what is the recipe for that? How what do you do that? What is this delicious dessert? And then a lot of you said that you love it, and you also serve it when your family gets together. My mom actually made this over the holidays when we were back home in Colorado, and um, it's such a, such a hit. You know, Such every, a hit. everyone loves it. It's one of these recipes that looks a lot harder than it actually is. Right, like it kind of comes out in this whole mold, and you're like, you're like oh my gosh, how it's do like you do that? all put together in this puzzle. But and it's super easy. But it's so Even easy. Even I can make it. It's so easy. It's so delicious. This is Cade's favorite dessert by far. Favorite. He he wants you to make it all the time. Yep. And he is so excited that we're making it today because it means when he comes home from school, he gets monkey bread. Monkey bread. Yay! Yay! Speaking of monkeys, you have some pretty funny stories about monkeys. I sure do, Josh. <laughs> we were just like, tell one. Tell Josh one. Like, you should tell one of your monkey stories. We're I think they're monkey hilarious. Bread. The kids love, love. The kids love them. The kids love the stories. Love they're them. really funny. So well, tell I don't know. The one the kids love. This is the kids' favorite monkey story that I have. My friend Becky, growing up in Indonesia, had a pet monkey because some people did. It was a gibbon monkey, and it only had half of one arm. He was like, he was like a rescue monkey. Like, he left, it's what? You can, he was a rescue monkey. <laughs> yeah, no, it makes sense. It's Don't just, laugh. It's just... They built this huge enclosure for him in their home. They'd had a door off the kitchen. There was a big window, and then there was a door, and it went in a huge room. And I mean, two trees, you guys. It was like they closed in part of their backyard like made this huge thing you could swing from tree to tree and you could look at it from the kitchen nook window while you're having your cereal <laughs> and they would go in and spend all this time with their monkey but my friend Becky wanted me to meet the monkey so I went in to the enclosure with her and it loved to go through your hair for bugs and so it started going through my hair for bugs and Becky's like ha ha you have bugs or lice or whatever and I just sort of laughed and I said no I don't and I hit her like that and this monkey loved Becky and thought I was attacking Becky and was like Aah! and like attacked me. It was like Aah! and I'm kidding the monkey and Becky pulled the monkey off me. I got out and the monkey hated me forever from that day on hated me and when the monkey was in a bad mood or didn't like people or was whatever upset he would swing by the big window in their kitchen and he would open his legs and pee on the window. <laughs> Whenever I came over, whenever I came over, if I was like walking through the kitchen to get a glass of water, the monkey would be like, and he'd swing by and he'd like pee on the window. <laughs> so gross. Hey, Back to monkey bread. Back to monkey bread. Hey, monkey bread is so easy. How do we make it? Okay, super easy. The first thing you're going to need are two cans of the buttermilk biscuits, one cup of sugar, two teaspoons of cinnamon, three fourths cup butter, one half cup brown sugar, and that's it. What? I really thought there would be more to it when I found out how to make it. But. Turns out there's not. Now you could get fancy and make your own biscuits. I We but just don't why? have the time to do that. Why? We just don't have the time right now. Um, you would probably like to make I would actually this. like to, and I, I have before. But I don't need I, to. I don't need to. You know, I'm fine with these guys. These do just as well. All right, when I cook monkey bread, I use a bunt pan. Um, I think it looks the best. All right, so I'm just gonna... Let's grease the bunt pan. The next thing we'll do is we'll open the cans of biscuits. Angela's favorite part. Do I get one? Yep, good. You gotta pull this thing off, remember? I know. See? Then. I've opened biscuits before. Just gonna put this little... Kaboom! You're gonna unwrap the biscuit tube. There should be eight biscuits in these larger packs. We'll separate the biscuits and we're going to cut them into four equal pieces and then we'll put them in this bowl. So this is the last one of mine, so I'll let Angela cut hers now. So while Angela's finishing cutting these biscuits, I'm gonna make the cinnamon and sugar mixture. The, the way I prefer is to use one of these gallon Ziploc bags. This way is um, easy and fun, and the kids could help do this part. I don't know about you guys, but our kids are always wanting a job in the kitchen, which I love. This is a job if you're cooking with the kids that they can do this, this one. This is great, the kids love this part. I'm gonna take the, the one cup of sugar, put it into the Ziploc, cinnamon, put it in the Ziploc, Close it up and just kind of mix it all around. You know, get that cinnamon sugar really incorporated. All you're going to do is you're going to take these biscuit pieces just and plop them in. Yeah, plop them in. It's okay if they stick together because the cinnamon sugar mixture will separate them when, okay. when you shake it up. And now comes the fun part. Now we shake. Now you shake. Now we shake. <laughs> nice. See, it's fun. Oh, and they do separate. Yeah. That's really cool. We'll take the bunt pan, 
put the, the pieces into the butt pan. They already look good. To me. Yeah. Put these in here evenly. So you want to make sure that you get them even, obviously, right? Right, okay. so the monkey bread comes out the same level. So the next step is we're going to melt the butter and the brown sugars. You're going to turn your stove top on to medium low heat. What about the oven, Josh? Right, you're supposed to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. I should have told you that at the beginning. <laughs> then just put your butter into the saucepan. Just stir this up until it's all melted. And then you'll add your brown sugar. And then you're going to let it come to a boil. Take it off the heat, and we're going to pour it all over the monkey bread. Bring it over here. Bring it over here. Watch out, baby. It's really I hot. That is really hot. Okay, pour it evenly all over these biscuit pieces. I love it in the morning. Like if you have a bunch of people coming over for breakfast, like a brunch, you serve this with some coffee or a cup of oh, tea. Oh yeah. Really nice. Really delicious. It is the type of dish that looks like you went to a ton of effort. <laughs> yeah. But. No. Now we're going to put this into the oven for 30 minutes. And that's it. Then you're done. That's it. You're done. Yeah. Okay. So All we'll right. see you in 30 minutes. All right. That's it. That's it. That's monkey bread. It smells so good. And it's so easy. So easy. And do you know what I love about these kind of recipes? What's that? I get monkey bread in the middle of the day. <laughs> Again, let's right. take a piece. You just take a piece? You just take a piece. Oh, yeah. Pull it apart here. Yeah. Oh my god, that is so good. <laughs> that is so yummy. Mm. It's so good. It's like so decadent. Delicious. All right, you guys, we hope you enjoyed that one. It is just a super simple recipe. Yep. Perfect for big family gatherings or breakfast or brunch with friends. Hurry home, Cade, before it's gone. Oh my gosh. But now you know. Now, now you know, know how to make monkey bread. Thanks so much for stopping by our kitchen, and we hope to see you again. We hope you come back next week. That's right. We'll be baking something. We Let don't know something. what yet, but something. Because we don't plan that far ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye guys. All right, bye. Hi, welcome back to Baking with Josh and Ange. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Baking with Josh and Ange. You went like, hi! <laughs> hi, welcome back to Baking with Josh and Ange. Hi, everybody. Wait, no, hi. Hi, hi everybody. Hi, 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 I told him he does this a lot. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um, hmm. Into the oven! I'm rubbing off on you. You realize that? Because <laughs> you would never, like years ago, you would have never been like, into the oven!